Hey there, and uh, welcome to our Mac laptop trackpad uh, use tutorial. Someone had sent me a message actually saying that uh, they watched a couple of videos up on YouTube, mine including, had a couple of friends with uh, Mac laptops, and were pretty impressed with the scrolling features and uh, some of the other stuff that the trackpad does, but when they went into the Apple Store to uh, try out one of the uh, laptops, that stuff wasn't enabled, they couldn't really figure out how to do it, and had a couple of questions about it, so I figured I'd do a quick tutorial. Uh, we may also go over uh, the expose features again real quick because he also had a concern about that. So we'll uh, we'll get going. In order to get at the uh, the trackpad features, what you're going to do is open up your system preferences pane, and uh, we're going to go into uh, trackpad, keyboard and mouse, trackpad, Bluetooth shortcuts. So there's a separate uh, little area under the preferences pane specifically for the trackpad. So first thing in line up over here is uh, something that they call two-finger scrolling, which is pretty self-explanatory. Basically put two fingers down on the trackpad when this is enabled. That will allow you to, moving them up and down, just uh, scroll up and down. Uh, websites, images, folders, I mean, pretty much, uh, pretty much anything. Even uh, if I open up my applications thing over here, I can scroll up and down through here using the two-finger scrolling. Okay. So pretty good feature to have. You can also see over here, it says allow horizontal scrolling. Okay. Uh, web pages, images, anything like that that do not fit horizontally on the screen over here. Again, just like this, or like this, either way, it'll scroll horizontally. Okay. Next thing in line down here is the uh, the zoom feature, which you've already seen in a lot of my videos. Just uh, hold down a key, two fingers on the trackpad, up and down like this, and it zooms in and out. Okay. And you can customize that key. You can either have it so you hold down the command key, hold down the control key, or hold down the option key. Again, the command key is the Apple key over here. Okay. So we have it set up for the command key right now so I can hold the phone with one hand and scroll with the other hand. Uh, next thing in line is uh, pretty much the way that you can use this is uh, for, for the clicking features that it has. So uh, default setting is just use the button over here. And you may be wondering how do you right click and left click with a with a single button. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll show you how that works. The first way that you can right click is to hold down the control key while you're pressing the button. If you do that, that's your right click. Obviously, regular just left click is uh, just tapping down on the button itself. Okay. Default the way that this is set up. If you want to right click, you can also in, in lieu of using the control button over here, you can put two fingers down on the trackpad and tap the button. That gives you right click. Okay. So again, regular click, just hit the button. Right click, either hold the control key down and hit it, or put two uh, two fingers down and hit it. That's how you get your right click. Okay. We can also set this up, and I'll scroll in so you can see over here, so that we can uh, enable clicking on the trackpad. Okay. We'll enable clicking. So what that does is now instead of just holding the button down or clicking or, or whatever we want to do with the button over here, we can just click by tapping on the trackpad itself. So uh, one finger, single tap right there is a, uh, a regular click. Right click is two fingers tapping on the trackpad. I'll show you what happens when that, like that. So again, uh, regular click, tap, right click, two fingers tap. Okay, and Enabling that does not disable the functions uh, that I just showed you with uh, holding two fingers down and tapping, or uh, hitting the button, or uh, using the control and hitting it. So you can still do that. It may get a little, uh, little confusing because you know you're tapping and doing whatever. But you can enable both of those features at the same time, just to let you know. Okay. So tap two fingers using secondary click. That's uh, that's the deal with the trackpad for. Uh, clicking and uh, scrolling and uh, doing all sorts of stuff. So, Okay, so the other thing that we're going to be going over is a feature called Expose, which uh, basically allows you to set other keyboard and mouse triggers to perform certain functions on the computer. It's built into the, uh, into the OS, into OS X. So apologies, by the way, for uh, the uh, audio and video quality of this video. I'm using a uh, my camera phone. I'm actually sitting in my car at work. Had nothing to do for a little while. I had some downtime, so I figured I'd uh, do it up with this, but I didn't have my real camera with me. Um, and also, apologies for the glare. It's kind of sunny out. That's what you get with the glossy screen. So, 
at any rate, um, this is the uh, control panel preferences pane for uh, for Exposé. Okay. And basically, Exposé allows us to set the following features over here. Uh, the following functions, rather, uh, for keyboard and mouse triggers in order to perform these. Okay, we can uh, show you all the windows, show you the application windows, show the desktop, show the dashboard, which again, dashboard is uh, those little like, translucent mini apps that come in, and um, either start the screensaver or stop the screensaver. Okay, so we've got a number of things that we can uh, we can do, set it up so that we can uh, perform those functions very easily. First way is uh, keyboard triggers. Okay. F9, 10, 11, and 12 buttons over here, you can have them set so that they do things. And the, the defaults are already set for you. Okay. Show you small windows, show you just the applications window, show you the desktop, or show you the dashboard. Okay. I have it set also so that uh, they call these hot corners in the screens. When I hover the mouse cursor in different corners of the screen over here, it performs those functions. Okay, so the bottom left-hand corner over here, when I hover, see the mouse over there? When I hover that into that corner, it shows me all the windows that are open. Okay, or it brings it back. Bottom right-hand corner over here, desktop. Top right-hand corner, dashboard. And the top left-hand corner, I'm not going to do it, but uh, it's the, uh, the screensaver. So that's expose. Pretty neat and efficient way to uh, kind of get around on uh, different open windows and applications on your computer. Show you the dashboard. Got uh, my weather widgets up over here and some other stuff. So that is Exposé. Again, apologies for the audio and video quality. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Send me any questions, comments, anything that you have, or anything else that you want to see.